I get triggered quite often by the news, by confusion, irritants, by curiosity. And often I think of art making and my art practice as very simply almost a byproduct. A lot of the work I do is about unpacking histories, notions of what power is and who has power in our storytelling. All our communities had mat making traditions and sat on the ground. We were grounded to the earth. These mats were largely made by women. In pre-colonial times, there was no word for table because there were no tables in the Southeast Asian archipelago. The table in my imagery represents colonial power or a kind of hard patriarchy. The Malay word for table is meja or the Philippine Tagalog word mesa come from the Portuguese and Spanish word for table, which is mesa. In my Picturing Power series, I was asking a very simple question of how do you colonize someone? How does that, how do you do that? So rather than an army of guns, imagine an army of tables, the violence of administration. And that violence of administration is more lethal, more violent than a gun. With a gun, I may just shoot you. With a table, with administration, I will tell you who you are. I will tell you what your history is. I will tell you what is valuable to be kept in a museum and what is not. I will tell you what language means, what language you should use, what languages you should learn, what is of value. This indoctrination into the mind becomes inherited violence. I see the woven mat as architectural, calling people to commune together, to share a platform. Throughout the region, all mother tongues have their own name for the mat. I think of the mats as being fundamentally feminist and egalitarian. To decolonize is to see the table and to see the mat. Yes. <laughs> I've been collaborating with sea-based communities, Bajau and Samadalau weavers from Omadal Island in the Sulu Celebi Seas of Samporna. Some of them are stateless. Uh, they weave with pandanos, which grows in coastal areas. I've also been collaborating with Dusun and Murot weavers from the inland district of Keningau, which is the epicenter of Sabah craft production. They weave with bamboo pus, which grows in the jungle. We made a dictionary of heritage patterns of the Bajau peoples that outstretches national borders. It is a cultural bridge across geopolitics. <laughs> I asked Julia, one of the weavers, what do you call this basic weave? Oh, this is tukatkad. What is the meaning of tukatkad? Tukatkad are steps like tinukatkad. I don't speak murut, so I asked, what is tinukatkad? The ridges at the ceiling of your mouth, when they feel heat or acidity, they become more pronounced. Oh, it's a border site between the deeply private space of your body and the external public space. It's a trigger site between what you might consume and what you might vomit out.
The ampersand is a bridge. It holds hands and joins something to something else. It wants to include. I want to be an ant.